The truth is that gender gaps in the workforce are driven and affected by many factors. But we know that in times such a geopolitical conflict, women are disproportionately impacted. My name is Oksana Stekina. I've left Ukraine about a year ago with my two daughters, Marta and Mia. Now we all live in the UK and we build our work-life balance in a more peace reality. The truth is women are demanding more from their work and they're leaving their companies in unprecedented numbers to get it. Women leaders specifically are switching jobs at the highest rates we've ever seen and at the higher rates than men in leadership. My name is Chishim Mamsonda and I believe in helping women reach and find their potential. The truth is, at the current rate of progress, it will take 132 years to reach full gender parity. How can that be? Hi, my name is Simona Kerman. I'm a leader in Denzel Dach and I'm actively advocating for the better rights of women. When I was a kid, I thought that in the future I would go for vacation into space, would live in some stunning house like from some futuristic movies and would drive kind of a sky car. And of course, I could never imagine that in the 21st century, I would be forced to leave my home with my kids, just one bag, flee my motherland and look for a shelter in a foreign country. When the first shock had passed and I forgot the basic level of security for myself and my family, I faced another challenge, probably even more painful than the loss of my house and my motherland. This is the loss of my social role. Because to be frank, in Ukraine I had a proper developed multi-year life plan. I had a brilliant career, amazing house we built together with my husband. I ran my own YouTube channel and I knew where we would go to the next Christmas holidays with my family. My proper design routine consisted of my friends, my job community, my children's school routine. They had amazing family traditions, small talks with neighbors, and amazing circle of people with the same mindset. This all just shattered in one day. New job position personal support and full integration became the breath of a fresh air for me. Now I realize that the social role of women and her barrier-free access to the employment opportunities is one of the key pillars in her inner strength, motivation and resilience in dramatic circumstances. By providing personal help for individual circumstances, Densu can definitely empower women to overcome the difficulties and transform them into meaningful progress. Male allyship is extremely important. Um, it's important for men to acknowledge um, their privilege and for them to uplift women in the workforce. I've had some amazing bosses in my career thus far. I remember with regards to Lafonti, I was in my first year and he is the first person or the first male boss that allowed me or literally forced me to take up space. I was nervous, obviously like I said, an intern and he would tell me, put on your best suit, your best outfit, We're going for a meeting tomorrow, Zambian Burries, bring your A game and he would shoot questions my way and he would send me off for important meetings if he can't take up meetings. And I think that forced me to show up. It forced me to be who I believe I'm destined to be. In that little space, I somewhat started to believe that if he is able to trust me um, to take on roles or responsibilities that at the time I thought were bigger than me, surely there must be something that he sees and I should take up that space. Cheats Book Club. Most people struggle with the pronunciation, but it's Cheech because one of my friends who happens to actually be my co-manager, Yamba, is the first person that called me Cheech. And when I was looking for a name for the book club, it made sense. It really started off as a hobby um, due to a hunger that I had within me. And at the time, I didn't realize it was a hunger to improve myself. Um, I thought it was something fun that we could do as friends to improve our reading culture. And Somehow from that little space or group, it's morphed into five years later, five different groups of women, three in Lusaka, one in Livingston and one in Sulwesi. Hopefully it expands even more. 
dynamic women that really I now realize that just wanted a space where they could be free. Free to talk about topics, nothing is off limits. Talk about marriage, talk about the difficulties about raising children, the difficulties or the challenges that we face at work, and just really being a black woman. It's really spaces that liberate women, that gives them access to opportunities, and that's through networking really. It's created above everything community. It's almost like, it's like Oprah's book club, but for Africa. Honestly, I love my people, my country, and I'm hoping that the book club is one step in the right direction to just amplify those voices. I think Densu needs to continue um, intentionally amplifying initiatives such as Visible Voices within the group and outside of the group. Uplift women, really. And even those in senior management positions intentionally look at some of the gender pay gaps that exist in our network. While I was living in the UK, I took part in a dental sponsor program called Read to Succeed. Spending dedicated time reading with a little girl, supporting her to succeed in reading and learning was the most inspiring moment of my journey. By the time we were reading a book about dreams and professions, I asked her what she would love to become when she's a grown up. She told me that she's only a girl and that her parents told her that it is more important to her that she's a decent cook and housewife. Being honest, that shocked me and I have been raised by a single mother working full time, building and growing a business by her own and that was always telling her girls that they can become everything they dream of as long as they work hard enough. That moment changed a lot to me and opened my eyes. I started actively to empower girls and other women to dream out loud and to make things happening. After returning from the UK, I joined Zonta and supported the overall vision of a world in which women's rights are recognized as human rights and every girl and woman is able to achieve full potential where women have access to all resources and are represented in decision-making positions on an equal basis with men and where no girl or woman lives in fear of violence. Advocating for gender equality personally means to me the empowerment of women and girls in all aspects of life. With Zonta, we support women's education through scholarships, fellowships and awards, and through our international service projects, which very often include education of women and girls as key strategies. The truth is, 